Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today is all about the G-string. You heard me right. Today we are gonna make G-strings on special requests because you guys wanna learn how to make G-strings, so let's make a G-string. They are so easy and they are awesome for using up your scrap fabric. So let's get to it. You might be wondering, what's the difference between a thong and a G-string? Well, a thong has about a one inch piece of fabric that goes up your backside and a G-string literally has a string that goes up your backside. And this one has a cute little bow at the top of that string. So now you know the difference between a G-string and a thong. Thong has that one inch backside and the G-string literally has a string. So let's go make that G-string. You're going to need a few supplies to make your G-string. You're going to need your pattern, which I've sized at SewingAnastasia.com under digital patterns. And you're going to need a small piece of fabric. It could literally be anything. You're also gonna need a little bit of knit fabric. We are gonna cut out this little triangle so that way we can line the little crotch part on the bottom of it. And you're also gonna need some fold over elastic. You'll also see this referred to as FOE, fold over elastic. So grab yourself a few yards of fold over elastic. So the first thing we need to do is cut out our triangle. We're just gonna cut out one layer. So let's go ahead and cut that out. And I'm going to be using a satin fabric today, which I designed the print on, so cool. So let's cut it out. Okay, so we're gonna cut out our three sides very precisely right next to the edge of our pattern. There we go. So now we have our beautiful satin Luna Moth fabric. And I went ahead and I cut out just a little triangle for the bottom out of a knit fabric. So you only need it a few inches big. So what you can do is just trace out the bottom of your pattern so you get a little triangle there that should look something like that. Next, we need to cut some elastic. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to measure so all your elastics fit you perfectly. Next, we're going to measure our hips. And this measurement could vary a little bit depending on how stretchy or not stretchy your elastic is. So I always think it's a good idea to take the elastic, pull it around your hips so it's comfortable, not digging into you, but it's going to keep your G-string up. And then go ahead and cut or what you can do is measure your hip. So I put this other G-string I had here on the dress form. The one we're making is gonna be covered in the front. This one's just extra sexy. Um, so what we're gonna do is measure right around the hips here. And so you can see on this one, it's going to be 34 inches. So I would go ahead and cut my elastic just an inch or two smaller than that, depending on the stretch and the elastic, and then that should fit you great. Now I have my waist elastic cut and it's time to move on to this inner leg and up your butt measurement. It's a little weird, but let's go over it. Now what we're gonna do is take that measurement. So I'm gonna go over it in detail here. So what we wanna do is figure out right where the top of your thong is gonna be. It's usually an inch or two below your hip bone here. And now your tape measure is gonna go under your leg, under your crotch, all the way back up to the very top of your butt crack there. And so that is going to be your measurement for the sides of the panty here that we're creating. So down under you, and then we gotta make sure that that measurement is coming all the way up here, a few inches below your hip bone. So go ahead and measure that on you and then cut two pieces of elastic that are that measurement. And if you're having a hard time measuring this on yourself, you could always grab a G-string you already have, put it on, and then just take that measurement and follow the elastic that's on it. So just to give you an idea, the measurement on this thong here when I measured it was 14 inches. So this is gonna be for a size small, so yours should be somewhere around there for a small, and then obviously go up a bit for bigger sizes or down a bit for smaller sizes. Now I have my two sides cut and we have everything cut out. So let's start sewing it together. So the first step is going to be sewing down this little lining piece. Make sure the right side of the knit is face up and then make sure the outside of your G-string is the wrong side face up. So what we're gonna do is just sew right along the edge here, just these two edges right here. Don't sew across the top. We don't wanna see that on the outside of our G-string. So the point to sewing it down just right here at the edge is to make it 
one piece when we're working with it, when we're attaching our elastics, it'll just be easier to work with. And if your outside self fabric for your G-string is a knit, I would suggest doing this with a zigzag stitch. But I'm gonna be using a straight stitch because my outside fabric is a woven and my inside fabric is a knit. When you get to the end, you can back stitch or not. It's not gonna matter because we're going to be sewing that elastic over it. Let's take a look at the little lining piece that we just sewed down. So you'll see I've got that stitch just right on the edge, real close, about an eighth of an inch away, just holding down that lining piece. So you might notice while I'm sewing these pieces of elastic on, you see a piece of elastic at the top of the panty up here. Don't worry, you haven't done anything wrong. I was testing something out before and decided not to do that. So let's just keep on sewing. So when you see that throughout the video, don't worry about it. We are gonna sew one piece of elastic all the way around for the waist at the end. So now what we're gonna do is take one of our leg elastics that we have here, and we are going to line it up with the top of our G-string all the way up there right at the edge. And we're gonna fold it over and we're going to finish basically the side of the G-string here. And then when we get to the bottom where we have no fabric, totally okay, we are just going to keep it folded and still sew it in half. So we are gonna sew this from the top of the G-string all the way down to the bottom. So let's sew it up. Now when we do the next side, there's gonna be a trick to it because it's gonna have to overlap so that way we get one string up the back and not two. So make sure you follow along closely so you get all those details. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you subscribe to Sewing Anastasia and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber and a follower, thank you so much for following along. Now let's get back to making our G-string. We start at the top, we're gonna make sure that we back stitch, and don't forget if it's not moving forward because it's thick elastic, either take your little thread, mine's not long enough right now, pull it to the back, or you could also lift up your foot, push it forward just a little bit, and Keep on working it forward till it wants to move for you. We're gonna give it a little push. Okay, we're off to the races here. So let's keep everything nice and flat and lined up. Now when you're sewing the elastic onto a woven, make sure you're not pulling your elastic and stretching it. When you get to the end, you don't need the back stitch and you can just cut. Now that you have that sewn on, it should look something like this. And notice right when we get to the end of that G-string triangle there, it keeps folded and we just keep on going. Now we're gonna move on to that other side of that leg elastic. And this is the trickiest part of sewing a G-string because that elastic has to overlap perfectly right at the bottom of the triangle here. Otherwise, you're gonna get a hole there and it's gonna look funky and it's not gonna be good. So make sure you follow along in detail so that way your G-strings turn out beautiful. Okay, so we are going to start at the top of the G-string and we're just gonna make sure that that fold over elastic is right on the side there. And we're gonna work our way all the way down till we get to that tip of the triangle. And now when you get to the tip of that triangle, what you need to do is make sure that it's folding over the tip of it and then it's going to also encase this last piece of elastic we did. So you're gonna get that piece of elastic in there. We are going to overlap them and we're gonna zigzag down all of these layers all the way to the end. So then we're gonna end up with our finished side and then one piece that's gonna go right up our booty. So you can see on this one that's store-bought from Fredericks of Hollywood that it goes right over the tip of it and then it overlaps on the other piece of fold-over elastic and just works its way all the way up to the very tip of it. So that way it's acting as one thin piece all the way up to the top of the booty. So let's go sew that on. The other thing you can do when you're starting these bulky corners is start up a little further than you normally would. Get a few stitches in, make sure you're moving forward and then you can back stitch. Okay, so we're just gonna keep it folded over until we get to this tip down here.
Okay, and now that we are at that tip, we're making sure that our other piece, fold over elastic, is inside of it. So it's sandwiched inside of it. You get to the end, back stitch and cut. So now you can see how nice the tip of that G-string looks right there on the front. And then if we flip it over to the back, it's covering everything at the tip. So that's really important when you're doing this to make sure you don't end up with any holes right here. Now we're on our last step. We are gonna sew together the waist elastic and sew it to the G-string. So we're gonna place right sides together and we're just gonna sew up a little quarter inch seam with a straight stitch. Don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and the end of this. and cut. So now your waistband elastic should look something like this. We have a seam here. So what we wanna do is press open the seam. And now we're gonna take the back of the elastic on the G-string, we're gonna place it in the center. And now we're going to fold it in half right around it. So we have that seam open flat, so that way it's going to be less bulky. And now what we're gonna do is sew all the way around, but we need to fit the front of our G-string in here as well. So let's go ahead and pin the back in place. And now when I lay this out, I just wanna make sure it's all nice and center. And now what I can do is go ahead and place the front of my G-string in the elastic here and fold it in half over it, fold the elastic in half over it. But let's make sure it's centered. So that looks good. And now what we can do is fold this right over it, put a few pins in it across the front, and then we are just gonna zigzag this down. And then we're done, we can take a look at it. Okay, so I've got my pins in it. And now when we zigzag this, we are gonna zigzag this all the way around the waist because we need to create that nice narrow piece of elastic at the waist too, making it that G-string, which is barely there and just made out of strings. So let's sew all the way around the waist and check it out. So we're gonna work our way all the way around the top of the panties. Don't forget to test out your zigzag stitch. Make sure it's the right width and length. And let's go for it. When you get to that back piece here, take your time going over it. It's going to be really bulky. You might need to give it just a slight pull, but make sure you're not pulling it too much. Otherwise you could break your needle or snap your thread. When you get to where you started, make sure you back stitch and cut. We did it, we have a G-string. We are looking G-string fabulous. Check out that back side, nothing but a string. We did it. It's looking great from the front. We have our elastics on the side, our band around the front. And then if we turn it over, we can see our string up the back. You can see that we have our lining piece of fabric in there. And we are looking awesome. Let's put it on the dress form and take a look at it. Check it out, it is looking awesome. We have our G-string here, so we have our piece of fabric in the front to cover us, and then we have all of our nice thin elastics. If we turn it around, you can see we got our G-string here for the booty. We are looking great. And if you want, you can take and stick a little bow on yours as well, just like the store-bought one I had. I hope you had fun today making a G-string. I know I did. They are so fun and simple and easy to make, and they're great for using up those scrap fabrics you have laying around. So keep reusing and recycling and making awesome small projects out of all those scraps. If you have any questions on tips for making G-strings, leave it down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. And I would love to see your projects that you're currently working on, so make sure you tag me in them or send me photos. That way I can share them with everyone else. 
you enjoyed this video today, make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it some applause, and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what you thought of it. Also, if you're not already a subscriber to Sony Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell because you'll know when all the new videos come out when you do that. And I put out new videos every single week. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching and following along to my sewing channel. And don't forget, if you're in Chicago, you can come and take sewing classes with me in my design studio here, or you can take them virtually as well, and you can sign up for those at SewingAnastasia.com. And don't forget, you can grab the pattern off SewingAnastasia.com under Digital Patterns. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.